Hello everybody, welcome back to another video of uh, content that has no chance of competing against Shane Dawson. Let's do this thing! Spin the bottle, morning. Oh here, previously on Love Island, I gotta, uh, I gotta get my vocal cords ready. Previously on Oh, 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 Island. The Islanders got artistic. Allegra and Mason argued all afternoon but managed to stay together. And Bish Bish got some private time with Talia on the roof. The greatest experience of my virtual life. Coming up on today's show, Masson slips on. Spin the bottle gets the Islanders in a twist. And the surprise recoupling shakes things up. <laughs> oh. Let's crack on! It's a new day in the villa, and the rest of the islanders are sleeping off hangovers, but Bish Bish is out of bed and in the beach hut. Oh, this villa has a beach hut? No. Oh, something on her conscience, is there? I have no conscience. What are you talking about? It'll be good to talk everything through. Help me clear my head. Who am I gonna talk to? How are you feeling after last night? Satisfied. Hmm. How am I feeling about last night? Pretty mixed up about everything. Really happy about last night or blown away. Blown? Away? Honestly, I'm a little bit happy. I just, just a smidge. I had such a good time. I really wasn't expecting it. Were you expecting to hook up with Tally at the party? Not at all, but I'm glad I did. I've been trying to make it happen since I got here, or I really wasn't expecting it. Oh, I'm doing the interview. That Okay, that's what this thing is. Gotcha. I'm gonna pretend like I haven't been plotting this since like the first 15 minutes that I got into this house. Not at all, but I'm glad I did. Do you think Tally might be the one for you? Ooh, uh, would I couple up with Talia? I think she might be. I'm too new into this to know. Or it, uh, that was, wow, I fucking, <laughs> it took so much effort to get that sentence out of my mouth. I'm too new into this to know. Jeez, Dylan, spit it out. I've never had a girl thing. Oh, well, that's not true. That, it, mm, don't put that on me. I ha I'm not a virgin. You haven't spent much time with JK. Do you like him? I like to get to know him better. JK is super mysterious and I find that attractive. Or he needs to make more of an effort with everybody. I feel like if I choose, I'd like to get to know him better. The game's gonna like put a bunch of scenes in there with Jake. I don't know if the, the game's gonna change because of it, you know? And I don't want the game to try to force Jake on me. So I'm gonna choose he needs to make more of an effort with everyone. I get that he's going for this quiet, handsome guy persona, but it doesn't work in the villa. I don't think he's going for a persona. I think he's just being himself. Quit being an egotistical bitch. Not everyone's putting on a front. Bish, bish. Who even are you? First impressions of Cherry? She said she fancies Levi and Mason. I hope she shakes things up a bit or she seems nice. That's bitch talk for I hate her guts. She seems nice. I guess. I hope she shakes things up because I have my own audience to entertain. A little competition can only be a good thing. I've got nothing to worry about from her anyway. Yeah, that wide jaw bitch. She got the wide set jaw. I ain't afraid of her. Man, she got- I, I guess I'm afraid that she's gonna bite me and it's gonna just like snap my bones. She has the most powerful jaw I've ever seen. Do you have any plans for Rohan? He said he fancies me. I'm willing to give him a chance or he needs to prove himself. Nah, he's gotta, he's gotta come in and prove himself. If he's just another loud, obnoxious boy, I don't have the pachance. <laughs> <laughs> Mispronouncing things is fun for me, man. I don't know why. Okay, so that was like a little interview to begin the day. I guess everyone else got up already. That's fine with me. It's nice to have the dressing room all to myself for a change. Pun. I get the dressing room for a change. Bish Bish is kind of clever. <laughs> now, what's going to really cause a splash today? Cherry red swimsuit. Let's give it a look. It hides my pretty sick belly button. I'm a little bit concerned about that. I have the best belly button. Out of all my features, I would say my belly button is top two. Although this kind of makes my titties look small. Yeah, it's not good. White strappy bikini. I don't even want to look yet. I don't even want to look yet because I have a feeling it's going to be good. Mm, yeah, it's kind of sick. Belly button out and proud. <laughs> Honestly, the others aren't enough of an upgrade. I'm going with this. This is going to work for me. Right, now, before anything else, I reckon I need to talk to Masson. He's still in the bedroom. I think he's feeling kind of down. Why? 
Because he's stuck with Allegra and she's a bitch. Well, most of the Islanders are up and about. It seems like one of the boys slept through his alarm. Saw is lying in the bed with his covers pulled up over his face. Is he trying to suffocate himself? I either gotta be with Allegra or die. Well, guess I'm dying today. Mason, are you awake? I wanna talk to you. Mason peeks out over the debate. Yes. Oh, hey, bish bish. You did have a few drinks last night. You seem to be getting on pretty well with Cherry. Don't look at me like that. What are you fucking talking about? Look at you like what? I'm just looking at you, you weirdo. Cherry's nice, but I'm with Allegra, aren't I? So that's that. Allegra is the girl from... What? Yeah? Even I don't believe it. Even my fictional douche character doesn't believe it. I'm not gonna dump her just because some new girls around. That's the fucking name of the game. Yeah, it's called Love Island. That's the name of the game. But but it's part of the game. Dumping new peop old people for new people. I wasn't even thinking it. You so were. <laughs> Interesting. And how's Allegra feeling this morning? No idea. I haven't seen her. You slept beside her. Your heart on probably pressed against her in the middle of the night. And you don't even know, you don't even know where she is? Listen, I'm sorry she was so mean to you yesterday. I've handled tougher bitches than her. I told her it wasn't fair. You two should try and make, <laughs> oh no, 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 my son. Should I try to make up with Allegra? Absolutely no chance. I doubt Allegra wants to make up or if it'll make you happy. Yeah, like I'm gonna fucking please him. I'm not gonna go out of my way to make sure he's satisfied. I thought Allegra wants to make up. I don't wanna just throw it out there like, ah, I'm not making up with her, we're over. You know what? No, actually, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Because I want her, I want to try to convince Masson not to pick her at the ceremony. So I wanna throw any dirt on her I can. Absolutely no chance. You never gave her a chance, though. She's not that bad when she's on your side. See, that's what I was worried about. I was worried about pissing Masson off. I thought he might be like, yeah, you know what? You're right. She's kind of a terrible person. I'll pick someone else. Oh, it looks like that's not gonna happen. It's a lost cause, isn't it? Oops, sad faces. Whoops. <laughs> All right, you guys said you'd like to do this with me. So let's do it together. Ready? Coming up next on... Ro Of Island. Okay, there, we finished it. Honestly, I felt like that one was just like an introduction. That was short. I'm gonna do another one for sure. Let's do this. Next episode. Oh, I get to choose again. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, Why am I making these sounds? Let's start with the new girl. Cherry. Big Jaw. Jaw. What I, we need a nickname for her. Big Jaws. Jawtastic. Jaw. Let me know what you guys think I should call... Jaw Jaw here. Cherry is wasting no time getting to work on her tan. She's lying on the decking with an arm over her face. Pff, yeah, probably a good thing, Cherry. Because your face is not your most promising feature. <laughs> can I be? I can be this catty. They're 2D. They're not real people. Oh, Bish Bish, hi. We didn't really get a chance to meet last night. It's because I was on the roof banging another girl. Oh, her jaw doesn't look that big. I think when her mouth is open, her jaw looks smaller. So she's like, I'm Cherry, I'm not a thin. But then she has a resting face and it's like, I'm Cherry. She holds her hand out for you to shake. Swat that shit away. Shake her hand or pretend not to notice it. No, she might have a big ass jaw, but that's not a good enough reason to hate her. Shake her hand. What's up, Cherry? Cherry has a limp handshake. Ew. Ew. Nothing worse than a limp handshake. Where they just, you, they let you squeeze really hard and they're just like, <laughs> Put some fucking muscle behind your hand, bitch. Like she can't really be bothered with it. Then why did you stick your hand out? As you let go, she rolls over to look at you. Wait, what? She fucking stuck her hand out without looking at me? Hi, bitch, bitch. I'm Cherry. Nice to meet you. You seem really nice. Oh, there's that jaw. There is that jaw. Holy shit. It's so exciting to be here at last. Oh, she doesn't like me. I already know she does. Whatever she saw on TV of me, she doesn't like. I know it. I guess you've been watching us on TV every day. It's really weird to actually meet you in the flesh. You're even better looking close up. Oh, hey, thanks. Oh, I kind of like Cherry now. <laughs> She gives me one compliment that's probably a lie. In fact, I know it's a lie. Have you seen me close up? I'm not pretty. But one compliment and I'm kind of one over. She laughs like she's just said the funniest thing. Okay, she's definitely lying. Fuck you. Fuck 
you jerry you lip handshaking motherfucker so did you have a good time at the party last night i had such a nice she doesn't even let me answer did you have a good time at the party but don't answer that that was rhetorical i just wanted to talk about me i had a fantastic time everyone was super friendly it's kind of boring right now though someone will get a text any minute and we'll all have to do like naked on wrestling something i could get behind that challenge i can't wait oh i can't look at you i can't she looks over towards the villa where masan is pouring himself a glass of wine <laughs> tell me something just well, that was the most dramatic face i've ever seen in my life <laughs> just between you and me what do you really think of masan i don't get what's going on with you and him oh there it is again jesus christ lay off the ham what should i tell cherry about me and mason i think he's the sweetest guy in here He's totally naive, but I really like him. I think he's an idiot or none of your business. I think Allegra is gonna leave pretty soon and I need a new enemy. Let's make Cherry our enemy. I already hate her jaw, let's just hate everything about her. I genuinely think he's sweet, but I'm into the bad boys. <laughs> Have you seen my episode series? I think he's the sweetest guy in here, I do. Hmm, okay then, well fuck you. We're just not gonna have a conversation. I think he's sweet, hmm, okay. Well, fuck. Rebuttal. Let's have. Let's talk about it. She smiles at you. Okay, she just dips. Literally. She went for a swim. We're in the middle of a conversation and she's like, mm, okay, swim time. Fuck you. Let me go talk to my homegirl. Derica is sprawled out on a day bed. Like everybody else, she seems to have a hangover. Help, bish bish. I feel like I'm gonna melt into the floor and die. Oh, you poor thing. You're not the only one. She's gonna ask about what happened last night with Talia, isn't she? You need to remember to stay hydrated when you're drinking. How are you so chipper? I don't really get hangovers. I drink lots of water or, oh, I feel totally wrecked. No, I drink lots of water. I'm a healthy bitch. Bitch. <laughs> oh, la di da. Well done on your excellent. Whoa, why? what's the attitude for? I literally chose that because if I said I don't get hangovers, she's gonna be like, eh, thank you, I get hangovers all the time. That's literally the only hangover cure that works. Erica groans and kicks her legs. <laughs> what do you think of the new Ara- I don't think she wants to talk right now, honestly. Oh my gosh, Rohan is the most beautiful man in the world. His body is a maza. Do you really fancy him? You think his body is that good? Or I've never heard you this excited before. Let's- I'm gonna go with the last one. Let's put it on her. Let's talk about her so that she gets good vibes. I want to be friends. I need a friend because Talia might be a lover, but I don't know that we can be like, you know, we can only be dead. We can't be dead because she doesn't have one of these and I don't have one of these. So we'll never be this. You got that right. I never heard you so excited before. I know. I think he's the first boy I've had those twinges. Oh, oh. Tell me about your pussy twinges. <laughs> ah, this is unbearable. I want him. I want him, bish bish. She rolls over and looks at you. I'm not into him. It's cool. You can have him. You're my best friend in the house. Until you fuck me over and I'm um, get my revenge by stealing him, he's all yours. <laughs> Just planning my spiteful revenge against my best friend. I didn't see you much last night. Did you get off with somebody? a strangely worded question. Indeed, I did get off with somebody. Should I tell her about Talia or change the say? You know, no, no, man. We've got no secrets. We're best friends. Ah, uh, yeah, actually. I spent most of the last night on the roof terrace getting off with Talia. <laughs> really? What? With Talia? Didn't see that one coming. Neither did I. It was pretty dark. Wait, what? That's an appalling joke. Wait, what? Was it a joke? I don't understand what happened. Still though, that's amazing. Tally is super hot. Don't you dare swoop in. I know you're my best friend, but I will cut a bitch for my other bitch. <laughs> so are you guys going to couple up? Wow, slow down there, chief. I'm not sure. Tally kind of suggested that it was a once- Oh no, she did not. She just said, my feelings for you are intense and I need to uh, get a hold of my shit before, you know, pursuing you. Which I can understand. I am so great. I think she has her eye on one of the boys, but I'd like it to happen again. You sly fox. We're all downstairs dressed like idiots in body paint and you're upstairs getting it on with Talia. I know, I'm such a sly fox. I'm so sly that I slided right into her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if that worked or not. Tell me in the comment section if that was good. I don't think it was. Slide and I'm so sly that I slided right into her vagina. Yeah, you know what? Don't tell me. 
Because I'm going to believe that was trash. Let's go to our girl now. Hey, Tal. Oh, hey, Bish Bish. Pretty quiet this morning, huh? Talk about last night or talk about the new arrivals? I don't want to seem over eager, you know? I don't want to scare her off. So let's talk about the new arrivals. Yeah, so did you get a chance to meet the new arrivals yet? Fresh Meats. What are their names again? Cherry and Rohan. Not seen either of them since last night. All the boys were like piranhas around Cherry last night. Do you like the look of that Rohan? He said he fancied you. Yeah, maybe. It would be good to date someone new, you know? Yeah, I guess. Anyways, I need some breakfast. See you around- Oh, what's- as you- I'm sorry, I didn't read it. I just- I was so- I wanted to get to the story. I glance back and she's looking at you over the top of her sunglasses, biting her- Oh, wow. What? <laughs> Hold on. This is what Talia was doing. That ass. <laughs> I should just wear shades the entire time, and then anytime someone says something crazy, I can do this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That'll be my new catchphrase, too. Let's give it a shot, man. Let's go, Allegra. Allegra is in the kitchen eating grapes. Grapes? Are you kidding me? I don't think that works. Oh my god, look who it is. Oh, and Jake wanted us to be friends, or Mason wanted us to be friends. It ain't happening. Hey, Allegra, I... What, have you come to say sorry? I'm not dealing with this right now. Yeah, okay, Allegra storms out. Well, what did I... I didn't do anything! How? How? Why give me the option to have this interaction? Well, that went about as well as could be expected. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, I guess last but not least. No, last and least. Rohan is doing handstands on the roof terrace. Rohan hasn't noticed me standing here. Watch quietly, say hello, or jump out and yell boo. While he's in the middle of a headstand, what if he falls off the roof and dies? Actually, let's see if that happens. <laughs> huh? <laughs> he looks around, loses his balance, and falls onto the floor, cracking his neck and dying. Luckily, the cushions that you threw on the floor during your session with Talia are still scattered about. Literally having sex last night with Talia Save this man's life. I'm not saying what we did last night was right, but I know for a fact it wasn't wrong. Because it literally has changed the course of life and death. Oh my god, are you okay? I'm so sorry. I'm not. I knew I knew this was gonna happen and I did it anyways. Holy shit, Shane Dawson, I'm a sociopath. It's fine, I can't believe I just fell over in front of an amazing bitch amazing. <laughs> he gets up and dusts himself off before bounding over you to you. Why didn't you come and talk to me last night? I really wanted to meet you. Sorry, I was having kind of a weird evening. Oh yeah, the others were telling me about the drama with Allegra. <sighs> Snore. Oh, da 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 da. Oh, shit. I accidentally hit the screen. I don't know what that said. Whoops. Rohan's saying we're just here to enjoy ourselves. Oh. <laughs> I love how she just recaps it for me. Thanks, Bish Bish. You're totally right. Or no, we're here to find someone special. No, let's enjoy ourselves. This is good. I can tell we're gonna be friends. I think our personalities are totally going to dig. Click. My... Wow. I'm totally my type on paper. I feel a vibe with you that I just don't get with the other girl. Oh, wait. Didn't he have an accent? What was I doing for an accent with him? <laughs> I was trying to put an accent together in my head and it just made a weird fucking sound. Part of me wants to do an Italian accent with him, but part of me wants to play it like really cool with Rohan. I'm gonna try really cool and the next thing he says I'm gonna try Italian, okay? I feel a vibe with you that I just don't feel from the other girls. <laughs> that wasn't really cool, that was really creepy. He pushes his finger to his lips. Okay, he does seem like the type though. He doesn't seem Italian, he seems like uber trying to be cool. Don't tell him that that's it, dude. Do you start every day by walking on your hands? I'm actually really out to practice. I used to be able to walk down the stairs and I climb the ladders. Tell me, vote in the comment section which you'd rather want. Would you rather me do Italian for Rohan or would you rather have me be uber cool guy? 
Well, it can't be uber cool, because it's still me. And I have a limit on how cool I can be. Me trying to be cool. How about that? Uh, you chatted with everyone. Okay, let's continue on. Something occurs to you as you walk towards the pool. It's so strange to think that the new arrivals have been watching the show unfold while we've been living it. They must know all kinds of things about us. What people have been saying in the beach hut, how their dates have been going, what they're saying in privates. I wonder if I could persuade one of them to give me the gossip. Ask the New Islanders for gossip, or it can wait. No, I'm all about the gossip. This is the best idea I've had all day. You've been up for like 20 minutes. It's the only idea you've had, you dumb slut. Wow. Went for the throat. On myself. I think this game's making me meaner. Who shall I talk to? Cherry or Rohan? It's gotta be Rohan. He's the one that is more inclined to give me dirt. Because he likes me more. Cherry doesn't like me. Rohan was making a drink in the kitchen. Hey there, Bish Bish, what's up? He's still wearing that shirt. That's the same shirt you were wearing last night, bro. Do you never change? I've got a couple questions I'd like to ask you. Ask what you want. Can't promise I'll answer, though. That's fair. Come over here. Sit on my lap. <laughs> so you've got the inside scoop on the other islanders. You must know everything that's happened here. I see where this is going. You want the gossip. Pretty much, yeah. I'm a little bit worried he's not going to give it to me. All right, oh, thank God, it made me nervous. I've been dying to talk to someone about this anyways. Yes! Which couple do you want to know about? I should ask him the most important stuff first. Allegra and Mason, Jen and Levi, Talia and Jake, or Erica and Tim. Let's go Jen and Levi. That's the one that I don't know enough about. How are Levi and Jen really doing? Yeah, I thought you'd ask about them. They're kind of hard to read, to be honest. Remember on the second day when they won a date outside the villa? Yeah, what happened there? Yeah, they came back looking like they had a really good time. The day was really good. They totally clicked. They both had a good time. The trouble is, it's blatantly obvious that Levi's into you. A 2D character that I initially hated is kinda into me, even though he's dating someone else. This is not warranting a victory dance, so I'm gonna stop. You think? Tell me more. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot to do the accent with him. But he doesn't want to become this bad guy by mugging Jen off. Yeah, mugging girls, not a great look. If you want to be with him, the big issue there is about whether you can convince him to just man up and dump her. How does Jen feel about all this? Jen and Allegra have teamed up, but it's only because they both see you as a threat. It's all Allegra instigating that, though. Jen's not really the type of person, you can tell. I can't do Italian without doing hand motions. <laughs> it helps somehow. She's actually really sweet. Underneath it all, she doesn't want to end up in the fight. Who else do you want to know about? I probably only get one more. Erica and Tim, I... Hmm. I thought maybe I wouldn't want to know about them, but I kind of want to know Tim's feelings on Erica. Let me hear about Talia and Jake. If I get a third option, it'll be Erica and Tim. Are Jake and Talia solid? They're just together, like, because they don't know who else to be with. Jake wants someone who, well, who doesn't cringe when he writes a poem, basically. I really like Jake. I think he's hilarious. Dally is out of the read. She keeps her cards across to her chest. I probably have seen those cards, because I have seen her chest. She likes it better when you are playing cool, I reckon. More rocky approach, I am Italian. Do you want to ask me anything else? I kind of want to get back to the pool. Better make this my last question. Oh, I do have one last one. Erica and Tim! Well, they're good mates. There's not really a spark there, though. And Erica is definitely someone who needs that. And this thing about Tim is that he's all front. Eric is totally beautiful, of course. Do you like her? I do. But they don't want to overcommit to anyone, even in my man. Whoever picks me later, I want to give a proper chance. I'm trying to keep my expectations a level. That's very philosophical of you. As for Tim, I don't think anyone else in the villa knows this. But Tim actually has a massive crush on Jen. He's had it since day one. He's admitted it in the beach hut. He's really nervous about it. He's got no idea how to talk to her. <laughs> it's because she's a girl. He's got no idea how to talk to girls in general. Then again, I can't really talk because I'm here playing a 2D fictional game. It's not like my street cred is through the roof. <laughs> and he doesn't feel like he can compete with Levi. Good, that's enough gossip for now though. Let's go chill with the others. And you can't tell anyone I told you all of this. You wouldn't want to anyway. This information is useless if everyone knows it. I'm just gonna, I don't know why I'm switching. I'm gonna choose. Next episode, I'm choosing. 
I'm choosing an accent, but you guys gotta let me know which one you want more. This was fun. It's good to get all... Uh, wow. Tried to force a burp out there because I felt it in my chest. I still do a little bit, but it didn't come out. So I just made this noise. Uh, this was fun. It's good to get it all off my chest. Speaking of getting things off your chest, take that fucking shirt off. Guys! I got a text! Text. We got a text. <laughs> Thanks, I didn't get that information from Jen's high-pitched fucking squeal. Islanders, get ready for a game of spin the bottle with a twist. Tonight, there will be a recoupling. The girl who wins the challenge will be given first pick. Wow. Oh. My. God. Now look at them running around, brushing their teeth, putting on lipstick, massaging their jaws. Can you guess who's massaging their jaw? Probably Cherry. It's because there's so much fucking muscle in her jaw that she's got to massage it. She's got to have a th massage therapist come in once a week to the Love Island Lounge and just do jaw exercises with her. Like, mm, I got it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, um, um. Coming up next, the Islanders spin a massive bottle. And the results of the recoupling cause shockwaves in the village. There you go, man. Next Love Island video is going to be pretty freaking awesome. We're gonna be playing Spin the Bottle, and then we're also gonna be recoupling. I hope the game makes me earn it. I want to earn first pick. I don't want to just be like, oh, bish bish happens to get first pick. I want to go out there and I want to compete and I want to fucking destroy all these other holes. I don't know where this anger is coming from, but it's it's building up inside of me. I don't know why. Until next time. What was my catchphrase again? I am upset. That wasn't it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I remember it. I remember it now. I am Italian. <laughs>